Let's continue doing problems that are slightly trickier. Okay, so let's have a look at problem 12. So problem 12 states, find the parametric equation of the line of intersection of the two planes given by x minus 5 equals 0 and y equals z. So these are two equations that each define a plane. Yeah. So this means that we have two planes. Let's draw them. One plane might be this one and the other plane might look something a bit like this. And these two planes intersect. Yeah. And this line of intersection is what we want to find here. Now, this means that we want to find the equation of a line. The equation of a line is equal to, in parametric form, is some point on the line plus lambda times a vector that is parallel to the line. Yeah. So one way to find a vector that is parallel to the line is to find the normal vectors to each of the two planes. Let's call them n1 par uh, perpendicular to the first plane and n2 that would be perpendicular to the second plane. Yeah, so this would be 90 degrees like that, 90 degrees. So once we have those two normal vectors, then the line of intersection must be orthogonal to both of them. And this means that in principle, we can find a vector v, which is parallel to the line. And we can find it by doing the cross product of the two vectors, n1 and n2. Remember that the cross product gives us a vector that is orthogonal to the two vectors that are in the cross product. So now the question would be, okay, that's fine, but how do we find n1 and n2, the normal vectors to each of the planes? Well, the way, the easiest way to do it is to remember that any plane can be written like this, nx times x plus ny times y plus nz times z equals some number or some constant d. And then a vector normal to the plane is equal to nx, ny and nz as the three components. So if we could write our two planes using this equation, then we would be able to find the vectors normal to the planes. So how can we do it? Okay, our first plane is written here is x minus 5 equals 0. So can we write that in the form n nx times x plus ny times y plus nz times z equals z? Well, yes, because we can write this as 1 times x plus 0 times y plus 0 times z equals 5, right? I just rearranged the terms and I added 0 times y and 0 times z, which means that a normal vector to this first plane is given by these three numbers as the components. So n1 would be 1, 0, 0. That would be a vector normal to this plane. Now the second plane is written as y equals z. So how can we write that using the form nx times x plus ny times y plus nz times z equals a constant? Well, we would bring the z to one side and we equal 0. So therefore we get that 0 times x plus 1 times y minus 1 times z equals 0. And that's it. That's written in the form we wanted. So now we can find vector n2 as the coefficients 0, 1 and minus 1. Be careful with that minus sign. 0, 1, minus 1. So that will be a vector normal to the second plane. So now we are ready to find this vector v equal n1 cross, S cross n2. So we do the cross product. So as you know, for the cross product, we write this determinant with x hat, y hat, z hat. And then we write the first vector and then we write the second vector. And the result is equal to 0, minus 1, minus 1. You can check that this cross product gives this result.
Okay, so that was the first part. This was one of the two parts of finding the equation of the line. Next, we need to find a point R0. We need to find any point in the line. So how can we do it? Well, we have the equations for two planes. So we need to find a point that fulfills both equations. Or in other words, we need to find a point that exists in both planes at the same time. So it must be a point that fulfills these two equations at the same time. So we need to find a vector r0, which is x, y, z. But these values of x, y, z, they must fulfill the equations of the plane, of the two planes. So x minus 5 must be equal to 0 and y must be equal to z. So we need to find three values of x, y, z that fulfill this. That's very easy. From the first equation, we can say that x equals 5. So now we know that x must be equal to 5. And then we need to find some values for y and z that fulfill y equals z. So any number, we could say that y equals 1 and z equals 1. Or y equals 3 million and z equals 3, 3 million. But the simplest thing in this case, I would choose 0. So let's say that y equals 0 and z equals 0. So this point x, y, z fulfills the equation of the first plane, which means that it's a point contained in the first plane. And it also, it also fulfills the equation of the second plane because y equals z. And therefore, this point is also contained in the second plane. Therefore, it's a point that is contained in, N1, in, the, plane, in the first plane, but also contained in the second plane. So it's both in the blue and the red planes. And therefore, it must be a point contained in the line of the intersection. So we can choose this as R0. So now we have R0 and V. So we can simply write the equation in parametric form, substituting R0 plus lambda V. And that finalizes the problem.